Alright, so I guess it's time for me to make a halfway serious kind of vlog. Yeah, I believe in something. I don't really know what it is. I don't know if it's God. I can't say that I'm a devout Christian or anything. I, I don't know what is out there. I don't know. Apparently, whatever it is, people like it and are catching on to it. But I'd like to say that I have theophobia, which basically roughly translates to a fear of God. Um, how can people believe in something that they don't know truly exists? There's no hard evidence. No hard evidence. And how is believing in a person and speaking or praying to a person that you have no hard evidence exists, how is that different from the people we condemn as being mentally challenged that, you know, make up little, um, what do they call them, imaginary people and talk to them? How is that any different? I don't understand how you I can do that. I don't understand how you can do that. Um, I don't think it's the same. Call me naive, but I, I just don't think it's the same. Um, I wrote down some other points. Religion is what caused 90% of the freaking, of the world's problems today. Not religion. It's crazy. Religion is what made my grandmother question me and my sanity because I came out to her as a lesbian. I, how is that even possible? How? Not only does the Bible contradict itself constantly, but there are 17 different religions that have the same kind of creation story, the same character, similar to Jesus Christ. There's 17 of them, okay? So obviously, there's some some similarities there, but somebody had to have made up something. How are there 17? Why is there not one? If we all believe in the same thing, why is there not one religion? Something. And not only that, the freaking Bible has been translated into hundreds of different languages. So who's to say that what you're reading hasn't been interpreted different from what that person wanted you to believe? Or, you know, that. And how do you know what to believe? How do you know that what you're reading hasn't been interpreted by somebody else? You know? You don't know. There's no hard evidence of anything. Oh, I like that song. Um, <laughs> sorry. This is kind of just, I've had these thoughts in my mind, and I think the Christian religion is so hypocritical. How are you going to say that you love everyone and you're a good Christian if you hate gay people and you hate people for being who they are? In John 4, 20, it says, he who loves God cannot say that he hates something else something along those lines. How do you do that? And you're a, a good Christian person? Like that group, the church group going around protesting. What makes them think that they have the right to decide that me being gay has anything to do with religion? I'm not a religious person. I'll say that I'm spiritual. There's something out there. I don't know what it is. I hope to find out what it is, but I don't think that I'm going to hell because I'm gay. And if I do, hell to the fucking yes, because if all the gay people are going to hell, it's going to be a fucking party. A party. Do you know how many great gay people we have? Hello. Think about it. If we're all in hell, please. Hell yeah. I'm rocking a bikini in hell. I promise it. I don't know, but I, I don't, the last time I went to church, um, I don't even think that the preacher was talking about 
being gay or um, anything, but he said that if you have questions about religion, if you are not sure that God exists, you're going to hell. He said that, his words exactly. And how can you say that when even my grandmother, who is the most, she will throw the Bible at you, like smack you in the face with it. She knows the Bible like the back of her hand, back and back, back and forth. She even asks, asks questions, you know what I mean? So how are you gonna say that me, who's gay, and I question religion and people's sanity, is going to hell when, you know, my grandmother, who reads the Bible, does everything, she's, you know, friends with God, they're like this, that she's going to automatically go to hell because she has one or two questions about religion, about God, and if he actually exists. I think that's normal. You should ask questions. Ask them. You shouldn't just believe a crock of shit, you know? Because what does that make you? It makes you a herd. A cow in a herd. That's what it does. It makes you have no brain, no originality, and you're just buying into things that people have said over hundreds of years. You can't pay off your sins like the Catholic Church said that you could. You can't do that. I just think that we die. That might sound a little pessimistic. I just think that we die, and there's no afterlife... I think you just come back as something else. And I hope to God that I come back as a tiger, because that would be pretty badass. But I don't know. It's just, it's crazy to me how this whole religion thing, how a religious group can decide whether or not I can get married, because it's redefining marriage and it's going to abolish the sanctity of marriage. First of all, if you're going to complain because your marriage fails, and you're gonna say that I can't get married and share my life with someone who I love that has absolutely nothing to do with you? You're absolutely out of your goddamn mind. What makes you think that you can just decide who I can I can marry or not? I'm a person. I have fought to vote. I have fought for African American rights. Now I'm fighting for gay rights. It's just, it's ridiculous to me how women, African American women, Christian people have, have all gotten together. Everyone, everyone who has fought for some kind of equality in the past is now getting together to fight against, to protest and fight against gay marriage. What the hell kind of sense does that make? Are you serious? That is the most hypocritical thing that I've ever experienced in my whole life. How are you going to say that you can't get married when you yourself can't? I don't understand. So this is my halfway serious video. Now I'm all pissed off. And there's an old fart in front of me again. Jesus. <laughs> get it? Jesus. Ah, oh, that's funny. And that's another thing. My grandmother hates it when I use the Lord's name in vain. But I'm like, it's just an expression. I don't know if he's real. If he is, I'm sorry that I used your name in vain. <laughs> Whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go because it's kind of actually dangerous driving and vlogging at the same time. So you guys have a great day. And hopefully you will comment, video respond to whatever you think your take on the, the whole religion, gay marriage fiasco is, and we can have a cute little discussion, a little discussion back and forth. But I'm just saying your opinions are your opinions, my opinions are my opinions. If you're going to be some devout Christian coming onto my page and saying that I'm going to hell for all of eternity because I'm gay and it's an abomination, I've heard it before. Just say it. Tell me how you feel, okay? You've heard my side, not all of my side. I can explain more, trust me. But go ahead and let me know. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go. You guys have a great day and I will talk to you later. Bye.